Hey, uh, how's everybody doing today? I know the subject I'm going into, most people, most recruiters are going to be going, No, don't say that. Well, here's the deal. I know people know that I'm a truck driver, and I've been doing this for mm, quite a while, going up to about, I'm up, I'll be, so almost 11 years, it'll be 12 years this coming May fifth with this current company so the thing is if you're going to start out going out like driving truck over the road like I do well things you have to learn is that you have to learn that you're not going to get home every single day it's just not going to happen especially if you get on with the midwest company and live on the west coast or if you like gear if you're just hiring on with the company that's based out of anywhere that's away from your house. If you're doing a local job, yes, you'll get home every single day, but well, you can you can enjoy that too. There are a lot of industries out there in the truck driving industry. But here's the deal from where I the uh, experiences I had when I first started out with this company. I, well, they flew me out to their terminal out in the middle of, middle of Wisconsin. I mean, way in the middle. You couldn't get more dead center of Wisconsin than it was. So, but, and that might give it away what company I'm talking about. And, well, my swag that I have on right now might give it away too. But, thing is, you, when you actually start talking to a recruiter, don't believe everything they say. They're just trying to get, they're trying to meet their quota to get people on with the company. Nothing against the recruiters, but they're doing a good job too. But if you want to be a driver, don't take every, take everything with a grain of sand. Even if you're starting out from brand new. Like if you if you don't have a if you just have a class C license and you're gonna go through their training program, go it's a good way of doing it to get your CDL or which is considered a class A license or for my viewers that remember the uh, chauffeur's license, yes, that it's the same thing as class A nowadays anyway, so but, but don't believe everything they say. Just they ha there are some truths in there, but they're trying to get you into the company. And if you show up, if you actually get there and they fly you out there or they get you a bus ticket to the place that you're going and you don't like the look of it, you can walk away. There is no reason you have to stay there and go through with all the you can if you show up right there and then and it doesn't look right you can you can inform them that I don't feel safe at doing this and you can leave and you can always find a different industry or you could actually find different work anywhere really so but but well the way I did is that back to my story I'm rambling sorry I got hired on they flew me out from Portland Oregon over into Wisconsin so which that's where I'm from is Portland area well they flew me out took about what 12 hours to fly me there <laughs> took the roundabout way to get there and I went from there and they threw me through training took one out didn't do it very well it's been a while it had been a while since I had driven a truck so they sent me out with a mentor, so-called mentor. It was just a trainer that has experienced people that drive them around with them. Well, they sent me down to like Kansas City, drove back up to Minneapolis, then we head back to Main Terminal in, in Wisconsin. And they said, okay, you're good. We don't need you out here anymore. So they decided put me in a truck they got me in a truck and well there are always issues in the first load <laughs> and 
don't take it personally. Because sometimes they test you right out of the gate. So, so it'll always be frustrating in the beginning first, first uh, what, six months to a year. And they always have, that's why they always, a lot of companies put you onto a training board, which a lot of these people, they know that you're going to make mistakes. And you are going to make mistakes. Hopefully just small ones, not big ones. They don't want you to wreck the truck. They want to make sure that you're going to be able to get a load from point A to point B to point C from a shipper to a consignee safely. So, but yeah, it's, and the pay will depend on what kind of company you go with. The pay can, can vary sometimes. Local jobs can pay pretty good job, pretty good amount, and they can, depending on what which company you go with, and over the road can pay you a decent wage, but you're out over the road all the time, away from home, and you more or less have your own mobile apartment in the back of your truck, more or less this is what your what my sleeper is like this, but it can vary on the pay on that too, so. Most my what I get paid right now, I get paid by the mile, and uh, it's a varying pay scale. It changes every quarter depending on how you do, how you do. It changes. You could pay could go up, amount of pay could go up per uh, for that quarter, or it could go down. So it all depends on on time performance and more more things you could think of uh, there's a lot of things that goes into that calculation for our company but a lot, it would just hurt your brain thinking about it I know it does me sometimes and I had I got a degree in accounting so it still hurts my brain thinking about it <laughs> so but I know the video quality today is not as good but if you just watch a little bit and listen, you can always enjoy yourself that way too. Maybe I gave you a little bit of information about if you want to become a truck driver because, well, it, it's an interesting and you, you'll either, it's one of those things you'll either love it or you'll hate it kind of thing. And sometimes there's in between like me, I... I, I liked it when I first started and I loved it for a while there but yeah, sometimes you get just get tired after a while cause, but yeah, it's alright I I, I, it pays the bills nowadays so I don't mind and they, they, they've been getting me home a lot more often because well I can I do a lot more refrigerated loads than I used to I used to run dry van which is more or less, you haul a lot more uh, dry freight, like uh, non-perishable products. Uh, let's see, uh, I have to think of. Oh, I, I hauled a lot of paper when I first started. <laughs> Scrap paper, rolled paper. It was, yeah, I did a lot of paper products in the beginning. I saw a lot of uh, distribution centers. I saw a lot of. Walmart de distribution centers. I was there at a lot of Walmarts. The uh, I saw a lot of. I shipped into a lot of. Uh, if anything started or ended with a dollar, like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, those were quite an experience. You had to, you had to get used to those after a while. So, if you had a live load, it could take a while. But it always depended on what kind of load you had. Good, didn't want to. Bl you didn't blame the distribution place because sometimes the loads vary. So, but yep, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a talk about what you might experience, maybe. And if you want more of these videos about explaining what truck driving would do, 
maybe I, I'll, I'll maybe I'll show you what happens when I fuel up the truck and stuff like that because most people don't get to see that. And I'll maybe ex I'll explain how what we have to use our cards we have to use that we have rewards cards nowadays with all the different all the different fuel uh, fuel stops like. It's called. Uh, they're, now they've merged a lot of the truck stops nowadays. It's called. They, they have Flying J slash Pilot. <laughs> it's all one company, and the uh, Travel Centers of America and Petro. Those have all combined together, and then you've got Loves, which I bet you they are everywhere nowadays. They've expanded a lot, but Loves truck stops. Those those are uh, nowadays around. That those are the main three, big three that are out there for the United States. There are some different ones in up in Canada, and I bet you there are a lot of them around the world, depending on what you do for fuel stops or truck stops. But for the U.S., that's the big three that are out there, and there are some still some smaller truck stops out there that, but they keep getting gobbled up by the big three now. So. And please, no, I'm not saying bad things about the big three truck stops. I'm just saying that's what I've noticed. So, I will talk to you guys a little bit later, and I will see you out on the road.